This is the Hennessy Mammoth 1000 TRX, and it is rather like a woolly mammoth because it's big, it's powerful, and it's a bit of a dinosaur. Yeah, I know a mammoth wasn't a dinosaur. Who are you, David Attenborough? Anyway, in this video, I'm going to talk you around the exterior, the interior, the upgrades that Hennessy has done to this vehicle, which is based on a Dodge Ram TRX. And I'm going to launch it to see how quick it is from 0 to 60 miles an hour because apparently this is the fastest accelerating pickup truck in the world. Am I Watson? And you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let's start off this video by talking about the engine. Okay, so he's not actually that tall, I'm just being stupid. So in the normal Dodge Ram TRX, it puts out 702 horsepower, but Hennessy have worked on it. And here it delivers 1,026 horsepower and 1,314 newton meters of torque, which quite frankly is insane. It drives all four wheels by an eight-speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter. 0 to 60 is supposed to take 3.2 seconds, but I'll find out exactly when I launch a bit later in this video. Top speed is 122 miles an hour. It's electronically limited because of the tyres. The Mammoth has the exact same brakes as a standard Dodge Ram TRX. So you've got 378 millimeter discs at front, 375s at the rear, two piston calipers at the front, single pistons at the rear. Let's see what the performance is like. Now I'm going to do an emergency stop in this big Mammoth from 60 miles an hour. How long will it take to stop now? Oh! What did it do? 36 meters which isn't good for a normal car, but I think is quite acceptable considering just how big and heavy this thing is. The setup of the Mammoth is exactly the same as a normal Dodge Ram TRX. So you've got a ladder frame chassis, double wishbone suspension at the front, rigid axle at the rear. It's got adjustable Bilstein dampers. However, you can get certain off-road upgrade packs with Hennessy, a stage one, which includes 35 inch tires, or this stage two, which has 37 inch knobbly tires and a nose lift. Okay then, let's see what the Hennessy Mammoth is like to drive on a very twisty country road. So, ah! it's heavy and it's very powerful. In fact, here's some bumps in the road. And the way this goes over those bumps, it almost smashes them back into the road surface. You hardly feel them. That's how heavy this is. And you notice it when you go to the bends, if you go a little bit too quickly, it's going to start pitching and rolling and you're going to go sliding off the road and into a tree. You'll probably do more damage to the tree than the car because it's just so big and tank-like. Yet, it doesn't off shift when you put your foot down. The engine is nuts. The sound it makes is brilliant. But it is a little bit sketchy trying to hurl this monster round this track. It really is like a crazed mammoth. <laughs> it's the perfect name for it. And the noise from the engine. Ah! <laughs> this big thing shouldn't be this fast or this much fun. <laughs> it just keeps on pulling and pulling when really it shouldn't. This isn't designed to be a sports car. It's designed to just be an absolute brute of a truck. But you know what? If you're used to what it's going to do and how it's going to behave, it is quite predictable. And it's predictably good fun when you get a little bit of straight section and you just... It is an experience driving this. A good one, but also a slightly scary one. Hennessy have made some visual changes for this mammoth. You have this bespoke front bumper, which is made out of metal and has mammoth carved into it. This big bar here, which would do a lot of damage if it hit you. Also, there's some LED lighting here and here. Down the side, you get unique Hennessy 10 spoke 20 inch alloy wheels which don't look like they're 20 inches just because the tires are so fat you've also got mammoth badging here hennessy badging here then at the rear you get another bespoke hennessy metal bumper and some mammoth badging there as well it all looks pretty hardcore in terms of the price one hundred and fifty thousand dollars so in terms of great british pounds that's about 122 thousand pounds so this one has a stage two upgrade which is twenty thousand dollars sixteen thousand pounds so let me do the maths 138,000 pounds. Now, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to make sure you get a great price for it and you want to see how much it's really worth, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below to go to Carway. Just upload some photos and our dealers will bid on your car. Dead easy and completely free. If you want to do it at a later date, just simply Google Help Me Carway and me and my team will help you get a great price for the car you're trying to sell. Here on the inside, there are very few changes over a standard Dodge Ram TRX. I mean, look, you've even got the standard vehicle's plaque here, which says that the horsepower is 702. The only Hennessy bits you get, embroidery on the headrest and this Hennessy plaque here. To be fair, it's quite a nice interior compared to other American 
petrol powered pickup trucks. You know, it's all big, spacious, quality is decent. It's practical with lots of cup holders, storage and all that kind of stuff. The infotainment system is adequate. If you want a really luxurious feeding pickup truck, you're gonna have to go electric such as a Rivian R1T. And if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. You can see my full in-depth video review of that truck. Here in the back of the Mammoth, there's absolutely loads of room. Look, it's massive. And you've got three individual chairs with lots of space for everybody. It's great. Though it's not quite as roomy as a Cadillac Escalade. And if you want to see my full in-depth video review of that car, click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. The Hennessy Mammoth has a nicely damped tailgate, unlike some other pickup trucks, which just flop down and can be quite dangerous. Also, the load capacity is over 1,500 kilos, so slightly more than a Ford F-150 Raptor. What's not so good, though, are the cutouts in the rear bumper, which you put your foot in to get a leg up. The location of them just is a bit more awkward than on a Chevrolet Silverado, where they're more at the side, so your foot's a bit twisted. Ow, yeah, I've just done my metatarsal. Ow. Anyway, that brings me on to five annoying things about the Hennessy Mammoth. The Dodge Ram TRX is already a pretty tall car, but Hennessy have increased its right height at the front by two inches. As a result, it's really hard to reach the bonnet if you've opened it. You sort of have to get the catch like that. Can you hear that noise? That noise is the Hennessy Venom, which is being tested here. If you want to see my forward depth video review of that car, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll put the link in the description below. The normal Dodge Ram TRX gets a three-year warranty. However, the Hennessy Mammoth gets a two-year warranty, though you can get a three-year warranty, but only if you pay some more money. This truck is pretty thirsty. So over the past 6,000 miles, it's averaged seven miles per gallon. Though to be fair, that is American miles per gallon, which are slightly smaller than a British gallon. In terms of British gallons, that's 8.4. It's not much better, is it? The paddle shifters for the automatic gearbox are a little bit odd. So they're shaped like that with a cutout in the middle so that you can get to the stereo controls. The annoying thing is though, that part of the paddle shift is exactly what you want to be pulling on, not there or there. I mean, earlier when I was using it, I pulled on a paddle to get a gear, but instead I got radio three. One of the contributing factors for the poor economy is this vehicle's weight. It tips the scales at 3,175 kilograms. However, it's not all bad. Here's five cool things about the Hennessy Mammoth. This truck sounds epic. Go on, let's have a listen. Rev it up. There is a soft limiter, but you'd hardly know. It's so loud. Being based on the TRX version of the Dodge Ram means that you get the same infotainment system with performance gauges. So you have an engine dyno, shows you how much power you've got. You can measure your G-force, and there we go, all your kind of pitch and roll angles. There's some other gauges as well. This screen is very slow, by the way. There we go, gauges. And you've got various drive modes, so you can actually set the car up as you want it in terms of the responsiveness of the engine, the gearbox, and also the stiffness of the suspension. You also have launch control if you want to use it. Though apparently, according to the guys at Hennessy, you're better off just brake boosting it, and that's what I'll do when I launch to see how quick it is. Need a bit of a leg up to get into such a tall vehicle? Well, don't worry, you can get the Mammoth with this deployable step. Oh, it's been quite easy. The Mammoth comes with a lockable rear differential for maximum traction when you're off-roading. Only 200 Mammoth 1000s will be made. This is number 15 in the production run. If you want something even rarer, you can get a six-wheel version of which only 12 will be made each year. Hennessy says that the Mammoth will do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. So I'm going to time it for myself using my specialist timing gear up here. However, I've got the off-road pack on this car, which will affect things somewhat, especially because it's got big, silly, knobbly tyres and race suspension. But anyway, I don't care. I'm going to do it. You know, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow and all that. There we go. That's really smooth. Oh, 0 to 60 in 4.08. What's the quarter mile? What is it? 12.55. Oh, I think we can go quicker. Let's go again, but this time I'm going to turn off traction control. Brake boost. <laughs> it feels mad, this just going so quick. Not 60! 3.9 seconds! What's the quarter mile? 12.34. Woo! Pretty darn good for a big old girl.
So then what's my final verdict on the Hennessy Mammoth? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, let's be honest, most people should just avoid this car. It is just too mental, too big, too fast, and it's likely to bankrupt you. However, if you want to be able to brag that you have got the fastest accelerating truck in the world and you've got the money, you're just going to have to buy it, aren't you?